Hello, welcome back to ADHD Knitter and Crocheter. I'm Jennifer. I'm known as Jedi Dragoon Online. And if this looks a little, if this sounds a little weird starting, it's because I've been doing shorts for the past week. If you have seen any of those about my National Novel Writing Month, so getting back into crochet and knitting is kind of hard to change it over. So, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> um, but I have been knitting and I have been crocheting. Mainly because I had IEP meeting last week and I had um, other stuff. But, sorry this is disconcerted because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say because I've been talking all week on this about my writing and tossing in little tidbits. So, let's go back and recap. I started National Novel Writing Month on Monday. I know this is not knitting or yarn related. Sorry, but this is a part of my life so you get to hear about it. And I love writing more than I love knitting and crocheting. So, you get to hear about the writing. But anyway, I started National Novel Writing Month is where you take the month of November and you write a 50,000 word novel in a month. It equals out to about 1,669 words a day. That's what my target goal is. I've been hitting about 1,700 to 1,800 words a day. So right now I'm at 13K. I haven't done any today because I wanted to get on here and get this done before that. And I'm talking really fast, so I apologize. I am sorry. <laughs> so I started that on November 1st, the day after Thanksgiving. Not day after Thanksgiving, day after Halloween. So we started that, and like I said, uh, today I'm up to like 13,000 words, so I'm going good. I've changed, I started off in October, I made an outline, I had character bios. Character bios are where you go back and write the background of the characters for your novel. The villain, the hero, side characters, and all that. So I did all that, and I wrote an outline. And... I've already gone off the outline. The outline's out the window. It's floating around there someplace. So <laughs> now I'm just going and having fun and I'm having a blast and enjoying it. It's the best thing ever when I have a good story. I'm just having fun with it. I'm not worried about structure. Well, I am worried about structure because you can't not worry about structure. But it's flowing and I'm having a ball and I'm enjoying it because it's my kind of story. It's about... Two people who end up in their fantasy world and they're trying to save the main character and they're already separated and he's trying to figure out what the heck is going on my and how to use his powers that he's gotten since he's gone there and it's just so much fun and there's a demon lord who's the bad guy so that's fun I and I'm really having fun with it and just enjoying myself while I was writing it oh and in case you're wondering I have Big B coffee today it's uh there's snow mint mocha, which is white chocolate peppermint, which is really good. No, I'm not shaking because I've had too much coffee. I just shake naturally. So, once again, apologize for the screen. I can't control it. Probably if I minimize it, it probably wouldn't look so bad. Nope, it doesn't look so bad then. <laughs> so, that's what's been going on. And I'll show you a couple things I've gotten. Um, the first thing I got was I got me a new sock ruler. I ordered this off Amazon. It's wood. I haven't opened it yet because I haven't needed to. My socks aren't that far, but we'll go ahead and open this with you guys. I couldn't find the one I had before. Why do we need that much plastic for that? They make things where you can cut it and see. never mind. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Okay, you're allowed to ask questions. I just don't have answers for this. So, this is made out of wood. Like I said, I don't know where I ordered it. I ordered it off Amazon. It says made in China. But it has inches on this side, centimeters on this side. Um, wow. Yeah, shows how close I looked at this. It has shoe sizes. It has U.S. women's shoe sizes, a U.S. men's shoe sizes, European shoe sizes, and U.K. shoe sizes. Wow. I don't think I need that much info. And then it also has a knitting gauge right here. So this looks like it'll be useful. I don't know why I need shoe sizes, though. I know what size shoes I wear. 
and what size my husband and kids wear. My kids kind of depends because they're at that stage where they're growing a lot. But anyway, yeah, I got one of these. And ironically, I got a text message from my mother today because they know I knit and crochet. They also know I also they also know I have uh, the church ministry for knitting and crochet. Um, yeah, she she sent me a text today. She's like, "Hey, there's yarn at Ollie's for four ninety nine. It was that red. Let's see if I can find it here real quick, because I." Oh, uh, yes, it was the Bernat Blanket Ogo. This is what she sent me. She's like, they have these here. They're four ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, no. I, I, the texture of it. I don't like the texture. It has that weird, like, the Bernat Blanket has that weird feeling to it that I don't like. No, no. <laughs> I'm weird. I know it. I'm sorry. I've had two cups of coffee. I got to go out with... My husband today didn't get done what I wanted to do, but I got to go out to Waffle House. So, I'm excited. Uh, so, I've had plenty of coffee, plenty of breakfast. I got to pick up a coffee. I really got to quit shaking. <laughs> and that. So, it's going to be a little scatterbrain. I've been off all day. I've screwed up too many things so far. So, writing the book today should be great. <laughs> Sorry, getting comfy. And let's see what else. So I I got this this week, along with my husband. What he got me for our yard because we got our Christmas deck, we got our Halloween decorations taken down on Sunday. We took them down Sunday, and we put up our new Christmas decoration. And we put up our Chris. We took down our Halloween decorations. We put up our Christmas decorations. Uh, Christmas decoration wise, I have two light up reindeers. I bought those at Lowe's one year when they're 75% off. So that was a really awesome deal. My lights that I use for Halloween and Christmas are red and green and they have Christmas wreaths on them. I bought them at Lowe's after Christmas. Lowe's is apparently a great place to get stuff like, um, these cord covers and all that. But, um, so yeah, I did that. So I have two of those. We built a, um, we took a piece of PVC and we have lights coming down from it like a Christmas tree. And then we have like three tomato cages we have lights on. I took a hula hoop and some garland from Dollar Tree and made a reef and we have that up. And then we have an inflatable Kevin that stands about six foot, five foot tall. He sits up on the porch. I got to go fix him sometime because he's fallen over again for some reason this year he doesn't want to stand up i have a mickey all these i bought after christmas on 50 percent clearance at walmart except for the dragon that i have on the front porch i have a green and red christmas dragon blow up on the front porch <laughs> and so we get this all set up and i have two little bass uh, christmas presents i've made that um light up too i made these so i'm very proud of them so we have those, and we have some Christmas candy cane that light up. So I have those all out. We have everything set up. I'm saying they're looking at it, because we set it up like this part of the yard and then this part of the yard. And there's like this big spot in the middle of the yard. I'm just looking, I'm like, looked over at Jason, I was like, honey, I think we need something right there. I'm like, we don't have to, but it looks like we need it. He's like, yeah, it'll be fine. We get done setting everything up checks out all the lights and everything got it all tested and then he, he looks at it like yeah it needs something <laughs> he's like that is a big empty spot so what he did is he got me because he sent me a message of what he was ordering or i sent the picture to somebody this is what we got from my front yard if you can see it is a six foot long inflatable christmas dragon with a candy cane in its mouth <laughs> he knows me too well i was like no i want oogie boogie or something like that and he showed me that i was like nope i'm sold <laughs> we'll get that so we have uh, another inflatable christmas dragon in my front yard i have one for halloween i still want to get that big black one that they sell every year for halloween but i have yet to convince myself to buy it i'm just kind of like mm, i want it i really want it but 
<laughs> we go buy that and I'm like, maybe I should just go ahead and get it when it comes out. So I got two dragons for Christmas and the yard looks great. I'm happy with it. So yeah, that's another thing we got this week. And then I went to church last night because we have Wednesday night Bible study at church. And we're studying the history of the church all the way from the first century to present day. So next week, we're this past week, we studied um, Calvin. Um, can't remember his first name, but he's the one who started Calvinism. So, yeah, we we're learning about him last night at church. And I see Donna, our church secretary there. She's like, hey, Jen, you have a package that came in. I'm like, I do. <laughs> I was like, somebody in took me a minute she's like yeah it was like a bunch of come back to the office so i go back to the office it's a package of grammy squares from debbie out in Air surprise arizona thank you debbie we got them so this is what i ended up getting um in the mail from debbie so she sent me that and a nice note so yeah i got a package of uh grammy squares from her so this is what they look like this is kind of what we're looking for when, if anybody wants to send granny squares for blankets for my congregation to work on. But yeah, thank you, Debbie. These will be used and appreciated. I just brought them home because I keep all the stuff here at the house with me. But, man, because I don't have a place at church yet to put them. I don't have enough stuff to actually justify it yet. <laughs> but yeah, so that's one of the mail call things I got to, got this past week, so it's been, it's been going good. Um, I need to put out a, I'll put something on, um, one of the Facebook pages about us accepting those, but right now I'm just still trying to get stuff done and together and that, but you guys want to see what I've been working on. So what I've been working on between puppy and all that, that's not anything that I just discovered again. All right. Here is my sweater. I've been working on it. I haven't made a lot of progress because I've been working on other stuff. And also I had to detangle at one point. But this is the back of my cardigan. This is how far I've gotten. I need about 20 more rows on this thing. But it's going good. I'm holding like three strands of homespun together. And here they are right now. Hopefully I have enough, but if I don't, I can always get some more homespun. But I'm, I'm loving how it's looking. It's, it's going to be kind of patchwork in different colors, but that's okay. Okay, there's my socks. I don't know if I worked any more on these or not, but so I'll set those off to the side because I don't think I have. But yeah, that's my, that's the, that sweater is Pink Sheep Design Classic Christmas Cardi. I'll leave links to all my patterns that I'm using in the description below. So you can just go down to the description and find whatever there. You'll find my church address. You'll find my Etsy shop, which has like three things in it. Maybe two things. It, it just has like patterns right now because that's all I felt like dealing with. Um, so next thing I've been... Uh, next thing I worked on was a pair of socks that I found because I had nothing for this IEP meeting. So I found a sock random. I have like two or three socks started and they're in different bags. So this is what I'm working on. This is how far I've gotten. It's the only, the only sock I've gotten started. This is a size two knitting needle and the yarn is this fleecy fingering and the color this is from a few years ago the color uh, it says lot five zero five six six two seven eight nine seven i don't know what color this is it's just kind of like a muted rainbow that i really liked so i'm working on a sock hopefully i get further but i've also haven't been working on it so i just grabbed that one day and started working on it this is in my Fates Thread Harry Potter bag. Kind of cute. This is like one of the first bags I got. Hubby looked at it as like, okay. <laughs> he does that a lot. 
this doesn't have anything except crochet hooks. I have a bunch of junk in here. That's a suck. I didn't even work on that. Okay, here we go. Here's what. Yep. So, this is what I've mainly been working on because I can do this mindlessly in church. You know, it's getting quite a bit big, but this is my Crochet Cozy Memories Blanket. I believe that's the title of it. It's done by... The pattern's put out by the gal, by Hannah, who does the Cozy Cottage Crochet pod, podcast, whatever these things are called. But anyway, this is all, I have got, I've added quite a bit to this, as you can see. So I've got it all attached together, so it's not like two separate pieces. And I think I have added, I've added this since we last spoke. I've added this square. I've started on this one. This, I did this square and attached these together, or I was working on that the last time. But yeah, this will be a nice little throw about this wide. So yeah, it's, it's coming along pretty good. I found this in there. That's the next color I added. And it's some fleecy yarn. I think this is raspberry beret. So yeah. That's all I've really worked on. Because I've been spending about an hour or so each day working on my novel. And I'm going to keep up putting posts out of my word counts. Because that keeps me accountable. So that's why I'm doing it. And if you ever go over my TikTok. It, that's uh, all you'll see on TikTok is the word counts I keep doing. So I don't know how to make those fun. I just post the word counts in if people watch it, okay. If people don't, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I've been up to. And like I said, if anybody wants to send in four or eight inch Afghan squares, they don't have to be granny. They can be like any kind of Afghan squares you want. I'll even take knit ones if you send those in. But my church address is in the comments. Um, and we're making those for fostering love. So... Yeah, if, if you want to do that, you can. If not, it's fine by me. So I will talk to you guys later. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.